so inside it'll probably be much worse. So there was a good reason for me doing that. I'm not just messing around. That was actually me testing the PCB system on the car, something I should have done a long time ago, really. It tells us something. It's not good. Just ran over a branch. Only a small, it was like a tweak, like a thin branch thing. It must've got caught around the wheel tells us that we've got too much pressure in the engine now most likely it's the PCV box that's at fault and this basically allows the excess pressure that builds up in the engine to be vented off once there's a problem with that system and that can't happen then you end up with excess pressure once there's a blockage that actually starts to clog this little black box uh, so it can't actually function um, and then that pressure's got to find its way somewhere and you saw as soon as I took the cap off it just builds up into the glove um, and obviously with that cap on tight it's got to find its way out somewhere else and then that's where you end up with oil leaks because that pressure blows past your seals and things like that and causes all kinds of problems. Missing Volvo's parents, they're so thoughtful. Yeah because I have to get right in there with a the lighter and uh, yeah it gets, it gets a bit hectic. So now oh. It's a thought that counts. Yeah, sorry guys, terrible lighting. Normally I'd have the car facing the other way so that the front end is pointing outwards and then we'd have all that natural light but there's so much stuff behind you, 240 parts, big piles of it. I mean, I could have it the other way around and work outside, but you can probably hear the wind and the rain. It's... Jesus. It's gonna blow the bloody doors off. We've just gotta make do with what we've got, and I'm not complaining, to be honest, I'm just grateful to have a roof over my head. You know, I've got the gas heater. You know, I can't really complain. Anyway, PCV box. Try not to break anything. It's good lighting, isn't it? PCV. The Whiteland sent me over a Haynes manual. The least I could do is use it. Should it be felt that the other systems were fitted are not functioning correctly, the advice of a dealer should be sought. That's not helpful. So it's not. <laughs> gonna have to do some stripping I think there's bird feathers in here there's so many it's obviously gone over a bird at some point not me it was there before I before I bought it I'll pull that through and out of the way so we'll have to remember that it looks like it's going to keep hitting me in the face anyway, so I won't be able to forget it. Where does that go? Just had this off not long ago. But yeah, I've already checked the PCV. And it's clear. I'm just going to take off the odd layer control valve as well. I'll use my phone, maybe you can see something now. I'm not going to be able to leave it there and work at the same time, but... So there's the box. There's the two 12mm bolts. Undo those and then it lifts up out of the engine. And there's a little hose on top of it you can see there. That's it. This must be a great bit of footage, great bit of film this, just watching the back of my head. 
do that. So there's one 12 mil. That's the second bolt. Looking very good. I think there's crap all over the lens, oil and stuff. It's the usual problem, but I might get the idea. So I've undone those bolts and I'm going to lift it out like so. Managed it. So there we go. You can probably see already that the thickness of the hole, you know, there's quite a difference there. You can see how that one is, the diameter is much thinner. We can scoop all this out and you see it's like, it's hard. It's old, old oil crud. So it's kind of restricted the, the flow. So inside it'll probably be much worse. It might have been an idea to replace this seal, but I would have thought that the new one would come with the seal, which is a bit annoying. That could fall off, couldn't it, quite easily? Get Durco everywhere. Durco being like silicon sealant. Durco is just the brand. Well, I was just about to say that wasn't too bad, but I'm gonna stay quiet for a minute because you start talking like that and then that's when something breaks or something won't go back on. So we don't wanna jinx it, do we? So I'm gonna give the car another oil change as well. Um, yeah, the usual stuff I put in everything, guys. Uh, well, not everything, but in my old Volvos. Uh, the old supernova 1040 it's just a, a dinosaur oil mineral oil nothing special about it means you need to change it more often than you would with a synthetic oil but that's totally fine i don't know what these cars have been run on you know all these red blocks i've got they've all done quite a few miles and i don't know what oil they've been run on problem is if they've been run on dinosaur oil like this and then i start using th synthetic oils synthetic i start using synthetic oils and if previous owners have been running mineral oil you get a bit of a build up there if you leave the oil for a long time and then you start running synthetic oils it actually has like kind of cleaning properties and it can clean a lot of that crud away and obviously that crud gets into places where you don't want it and i change my oil often uh, so yeah every few thousand miles really so you know it's the one thing i firmly believe you know if you keep your engine in fresh oil and filters it really can go on forever so i use genuine volvo oil filters because they're actually pretty much the same price as the man filters believe it or not 